Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, virtual WAI conference starts on Thursday. Also, Sun and Fun 2021 remains on target. And ASR Test eFlyer 2 Parachute Recovery System. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with virtual WAI conference starts on Thursday. Women in Aviation International members and conference attendees will no doubt connect with the impressive roster of speakers scheduled for the 32nd Annual International Women in Aviation Conference on March 11th until the 12th from the convenience of one's home or office. Although we are disappointed that we cannot meet in person, this virtual conference has allowed us to assemble a dynamic group of keynotes from all over the world, Allison McKay, WAI CEO, says. We are excited that our virtual two-day gathering will enable more of our members to take advantage of this inspiring content, educational opportunities, and networking events. A virtual Girls in Aviation Day will take place on Saturday, March 13th, where girls ages 8 to 17 will be introduced to the career and lifestyle possibilities available in aviation. The female leaders of the U.S. Thunderbirds will share their stories with attendees, and a NASA astronaut will also make an appearance. Participants from the Reno, Nevada area may also register for a free kit full of fun materials, activities, and keepsakes. The Aviation for Girls app will also feature new content. After the break, Mars rover landing site has a name. Details after these messages. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. NASA has named the landing site of the agency's Perseverance rover after the science fiction author Octavia E. Butler. After the science fiction author Octavia E. Butler, the landing location is marked with a star in this image from High Resolution Imaging Experiment Camera aboard NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. King Air is cooler than ever with their ground cooling solution. Textron has received FAA STC approval for the new Beechcraft King Air ground cooling aftermarket upgrade for Beechcraft King Air 200 and 300. With King Air ground cooling system installed, customers can provide flood cooling into the cabin before departure, enhancing passenger and crew comfort. The newly available Ground cooling system enables King Air operators to cool the cabin before crew and passengers board by plugging in a ground power unit, eliminating the need to power air conditioning systems via the aircraft's engine. Smart Sky Networks reports that it has surpassed 200 granted patents. This portfolio supports the company's in-flight broadband service. Smart Sky Networks is rolling out its air-to-ground network in 2021. The network takes advantage of patented spectrum reuse, advanced beamforming technologies, and 60 MHz of spectrum for enhanced connectivity. Smart Sky's network reportedly enables an office-in-the-sky experience with data transmissions both to and from the aircraft. Rod Machado e-course is about to be upgraded. Rod tells us that the company that supports the Articulate Mobile Player app will remove this app from the Apple and Google stores on March 23rd. 
The Articulate company will then only support online courses due to the Adobe's abandonment of its support of Flash. But don't panic. Rod has an app in development that allows downloading of e-course videos for offline viewing, and he estimates availability by late April. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Mark your calendars. Sun and Fun 2021 remains on target. The Sun and Fun Expo is less than five weeks away, and things are looking up for what may be the first major live aviation event in over a year. Masking protocols are being lessened all over the country, vaccinations are becoming more and more widespread, and the rate of COVID-19 related illness has been decreasing, especially here in Florida. Still, Sun and Fun officials are adamant about undertaking extensive protective protocols for the event, both inside and outside activities, and the grapevine indicates that interest in participation at this year's event is growing. Over a dozen of new airplanes are expected to be unveiled. The first appearance of the U.S. Navy Blue Angels flying their upgraded Super Hornets is on schedule, and some 400 or so exhibitors are committed to showing all manner of aviation goodness. Eric News will be producing the Sun and Fun Digital Daily this year in a digital, mobile, device-friendly format that will be accessible all over the world via PC, cell phone, or tablet at the website you see on your screen, along with extensive multimedia offerings. Better yet, we have surprises in the works for this project. We'll keep you updated as we get closer to the big week. After these messages, ASR test eFlyer 2 Parachute Recovery System. The video after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. Look out below. ASR Test eFlyer 2 Parachute Recovery System. Aviation Safety Resources Inc. has successfully completed the first developmental test of its whole aircraft parachute recovery system for the electrically powered eFlyer 2. Larry Williams, ASR President and CEO, said initial testing was completed at a drop range test facility outside Henderson, Nevada. This test was the first in a series of tests to qualify the eFlyer parachute system to ASTM standards and make sure the canopy will withstand the load put on it, he said. In accordance with ASTM requirements for limit load testing, barrels were filled with water to represent the weight of the aircraft. This is the first developmental test in a series of tests that were dropped from a helicopter at 6,600 feet and accelerated to the maximum speed at which the system will be deployed. Everything was perfect, Williams said. So far, we are getting the results we expected. The next series will advance to ultimate load testing where we will drop 1.15 times the maximum weight and speed for the E-Flyer 2 by exceeding the rated weights and speeds. This provides a critical 1.5 times safety factor in accordance with the ASTM and FAA requirements. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.